essential fatty acids and autoimmune disease management. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know that inflammation is a hallmark feature of many autoimmune diseases. And autoimmune diseases usually have periods of exacerbation or, or flare-ups, followed by periods of remission where the disease is somewhat quiet. The aim of diet and lifestyle in autoimmune diseases and supplementation is to help to decrease inflammation over the long term. So this reduces the number of flare-ups and the severity of the flare-ups as the disease moves forward. And this just provides better management overall. As well, the right diet and supplementation program can help to reduce the reliance on immunosuppressive drugs. Because some of these drugs that are used to treat autoimmune diseases, you may know, can increase risk of cancer and opportunistic infection. And the right diet and supplementation plan can also reduce risk of having to use too many anti-inflammatory medications, which can cause you know, intestinal bleeding and ulceration, kidney damage, liver damage, uh, even heart problems and high blood pressure problems. So reducing your reliance on those medications as much as you can is very important to your long-term health, as well as reducing your reliance on corticosteroid drugs because they're, even though they can suppress inflammation, they're linked to an increased risk of diabetes, osteoporosis, cancer, and other problems. So one of the important supplements to consider in the long-term management of an autoimmune disease are essential fatty acids. Now what the science supports to the greatest degree is a combination supplement that has flax seed oil, borage seed oil, and fish oil all in one capsule. The fish oil <coughs> contains omega-3 fats, which the body will convert into these prostaglandin hormones. They're called prostaglandin series three, which are very anti-inflammatory. Now in fish oil, there's also another uh, omega-3 fat called DHA, which the body can convert back to the more optimal EPA uh, omega-3 fat and from which the body makes that anti-inflammatory hormone. So fish oil is really important, but so is flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil is also an omega-3 fat, which the body can sort of elongate. It's known as alpha-linolenic acid, or ALA. The body elongates the ALA to make EPA, which is the type of uh, uh, omega-3 fat found in fish oil. And from there, you can make the anti-inflammatory prostaglandin. So you say, why would I take flaxseed oil when I can get the EPA I need from fish oil? Because the uh, flaxseed oil uh, omega-3 fat, known as alpha-linolenic acid, can indirectly stop the body from making some of the bad essential fats that lead to pro-inflammatory prostaglandins. So there's a really bad inflammatory prostaglandin called prostaglandin series two, which promotes a lot of inflammation. Taking flaxseed oil can help to block the body from synthesizing the bad fat that gets produced to the pro-inflammatory uh, prostaglandin series two. And then the borage seed oil contains GLA, or gamma-linolenic acid. GLA is very anti-inflammatory, just like EPA is, and ALA from flaxseed oil. Now, evening primrose oil also has GLA, but only about 9% of all the fats in there are GLA, whereas in, in borage seed oil, 22% of the fats are GLA. So borage seed is superior. And other oils have some GLA, but borage seed and black currant oil have the, are the richest sources of the GLA, which is the, the, the anti-inflammatory essential fat that you want. Black currant oil is much more expensive than borage seed oil. So borage seed is the most cost-effective way to get that gamma-linolenic acid or GLA. So in, in the bottom line is that I suggest that you take a, a capsule each day that's 1,200 milligrams of essential fatty acids. That's where 400 milligrams comes from fish oil, 400 from flaxseed oil, and 400 from borage seed oil. That's the combination supplement that you're looking for. For people with autoimmune disease, I normally encourage them to take, during periods of remission, four to six capsules a day to help suppress the inflammatory process to decrease recurrences and flare-ups and states of exacerbation. Also a good idea to have two fish servings a week. Now you don't want to go beyond two fish servings a week because that's how you end up with mercury toxicity and other problems. So two fish servings a week it would be a safe amount. And stay away from the foods that have a lot of the bad fat that's going to promote inflammation. So stay away from red meat and pork and lamb and duck 
and of course trans fats and so on. This allows the essential fatty acid supplement with the flaxseed, borage, and fish oil to work more effectively. Also a good idea to take a high potency multivitamin enriched with antioxidants and B vitamins and certain minerals like magnesium because the, and zinc because they help the essential fatty acids in that supplement produce the anti-inflammatory prostaglandins by acting as cofactors and coenzymes in the biochemical reactions. So click on the link below to see the comprehensive article that I've written on the nutrition and supplementation management of autoimmune diseases. All the scientific references are there. Many medical doctors don't study nutrition and natural medicine, so they don't give this kind of advice to their patients with autoimmune diseases. But if you have a problem like this, you really need to understand it in some detail and know exactly what to do. So I would suggest that you click on the, the link below, read the article, and get the details. You'll see all the scientific references are there, so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review papers and t uh, footage from my live seminars, other downloads and videos and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're only getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should really use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.